What up? Welcome back uh, to another YouTube video. If you're new or if you didn't know what website you were on, it's uh, YouTube, you've made it. Today, I'm gonna be answering big question. Big, big kahuna of a question. Society will tell you, you gotta put your cereal first and then your milk. Otherwise, you know, you look like a, for lack of a better word, cereal killer. And maybe that's where the term came from. Oh, the, du the Cheerio dust got in my eyes. Ah, ah! But in case you didn't know, over here, we don't follow the societal norms. Alright, uh, what up? It's Darcy from the future here. Um, editing this video that you're watching right now, um, and the explanation I gave makes just about zero sense. So what I'm doing in this video is comparing four different methods of making your cereal. Two of which include cereal first and milk first, the main event. And that's it. Back to it. So the first uh, method of cereal we're going to be taking a deep dive into is the classic. Some would say the only cereal first. Because we're about as scientific as it gets uh, here on this platform, I'm going to be doing accurate measurements of each so there's no, you know, can't think of the word, but you know what I mean. Oh, I've actually never, I don't think I've ever had Cheerios before either. So you get to see my first impression of Cheerios. But let's go for a cup of. Cheerio. Oops. Perfect. Actually, we're going to do them both at the same time. So it's like it, uh, simultaneous, you know? Perfect. Let's set these mystery methods aside um, and just focus on. The, look, I, I'm, I had this idea and I just haven't really thought about it too much. I'm just go I'm just jumping in. So I'm going to figure this how this is going to work out as we go. And I hope that's all right. So get another cup of this. This is going everywhere. Is this normally happen with cereal? Here we have uh, both methods. Milk first, cereal first. And it's got we're going to just go into it. And this is probably a world first. The first time you're going to see how they both work. Uh like to get side by side. So let's just pretend this is a controlled environment and um, you've just woken up, birds are chirping, top of the morning. You've done the first half of the cereal, it's time for the second half. Let's go, let's see what the difference is. Why is this such, okay, I'm dragging this out. Let's just do it. All right. And right off the bat, you can see some differences. To start with, the cereal first, we have a bit of a pit of milk where the milk entered. The milk first, all the above cereal is staying kind of dry and the longevity of the crunch will be there. But before we uh, go jumping in there with our spoons, let's jump on to the next two. I've spilt so many Cheerios, it's not even funny. Why, how, why, why, why is this happening? All right, the next method uh, that's gonna be joining the combo is simultaneous, the Fairband Special. So away we go, both at the same time. Wow. Finally, the lasagna. Gonna be layering bit by bit. Little bit of this, little bit of that, little bit of this, little bit of that. You just, you know, just tease it. Just back and forth, back and forth. This is a bit of a tedious process but maybe we'll find out that it's the best and it will pay off. Who knows? You don't know until you find out. And you kill a bit more time, a bit more back and forth, bit of this, bit of that, and next thing you know, you're, uh, you're ready to eat. Great. Now looking at these two, pretty similar. Um, it's gonna be hard to tell the difference, but you must be thinking, all right, great, cool. Nice one, man. Like, what do you want to... Uh, a metal, you've you've just poured it in and, and looked at it and done. No, because obviously, you know how this works around here. 
if I'm going to get any kind of real answers, I have to blindfold myself because otherwise when you know, it just ruins it. It just it just ruins the 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 the, the surprise factor. So, I'm going to set this up and you'll probably see me next. I'm just going to be blind. I don't have any time to waste. I'm just going to jump straight to it. Is that spinning? Okay, <laughs> I just felt a little bit. It, it, it looks, it doesn't look like it's working. It feels like it's working. So that's great. Stopping it. Great, fantastic. Don't think we've had any spillages. Now let's get these bowls out. Get rid of this. I wish I could see for this bit, but I'm gonna have to wing it. Hopefully, okay, that's gonna have to do. All right, it's time to dig in. We've got our mixed up cereal methods. Right off the bat, we're gonna go over here and try this one. You know, Cheerios are kind of lit. They're like not too sweet, not too not sweet. They're just like on the money. Um, This method has Still maintained a, a heck load of crunch. A lot of crunch on the top there. But there is still like a good amount of uh, moistened Cheerios. So that's... I'm going to have to say that's pretty good. That's up there, but we don't know until we try more. Hmm. Now this, the top is a lot less crunchy. So I have an inkling this could be cereal first. I'm going to have to say, as far as like an overall experience, that does sit a bit lower than this one. Um, but what do we have here? Hmm. That's pretty good. That's a pretty consistent all-round consistency. Didn't think that those two words would work in one sentence, but they do. Uh, yeah, i got a feeling this is one of the mixed ones. The lay I feel like this is the lasagna. Because it does taste very layered, like it... It's very consistent throughout. But moving on to the final... The final uh, bowl could be the decider. That is great. The amount of crunch on that top layer and the contrast to the inside layers, just perfectly moistened Cheerios, is zero to none. That That is taking number one spot, I think. I think that might... I, I don't know. I think that this might be milk first, but um, go number one, number four, number two, number three. I think that's it. I think that's, we're locking that in. And, oh God, how did we go? Wow. Go guys, that, that, there you have it. Let me just adjust my eyes. It's always hard going from darkened for several minutes to bright blaring lights. That's the results. And the simultaneous pour came in on top, but the most important thing is that milk first, bet cereal first. Just as I'd suspected, that's the facts. Like that is as, as pure as science gets. Remove the bias, put in multiple, uh, you know, participants, controlled environment, you know, equal amounts of everything. I think at this stage, I'm basically up for a like qualified scientist. So if you're watching this and you work at a university and you can just slide me in on the back end, hit me up. There's my email. I'll make a special one just for this, uh, you know, this academic avenue I'm trying to take on just hijacking a science degree. But um, there's only one more really wacky method that I wanted to finish on. Uh, for those people that, you know, this chaos just wasn't enough. Um, I don't know how realistically, like, you know, usable this method is going to be. This might be a one and done sort of thing, a bit of a party trick. But why even bother with uh, all this cutlery and uh, ceramics and glass when there's a perfectly good tool right here? I'm going to need a bit more milk. So skip all that nonsense and uh, we'll see you at the bottom. Oh, God. oh, that's a lot of milk. Oh my, oh jeez. Okay, this is so much in my mouth. How do I oh, pretend it's all good? Thumbs up, smile and wave. Okay, uh, actually, no, nah, cut, cut. 
This was stupid. Oh my god. Maybe don't try that one. Yeah, that, that kind of backfired. Look at that. That's milk all over me. That was silly. Although a lot of things I do are silly. And that's just sometimes how you have to be.